What up? Monaco here. Gas discharge tube lab, okay? Very, very similar to our flame test lab, except we're looking at some different elements using a different tool, but the same exact concept, okay? So that's why I kept the flame test lab background and purpose up here. So remember, with flame tests, no, we're not doing flame tests, we're doing gas discharge tubes, okay? Remember, different elements burn different colors when they hit a flame or get excited by electricity. This allows the identification of unknowns. It's very, very important to astronomers. If you ever wonder why or how we know that star out there is a certain size, well, we look at the elements that it contains through a spectroscope and we can make assumptions based upon what we know scientifically that, oh, that's a main stage star. Talk to your earth science teachers about stars and how they identify them more because I'm no expert. I know the elements real quick. Explanation. Heat, or in this case, electricity, excites electrons to jump from a ground state to an excited state. Okay, so this is what it looks like. An electron likes to be close to the nucleus, but when it gets zapped with heat or electricity, boom, it could jump to anywhere up above. It doesn't stay there long because it wants to return back to the ground state and it wants to lose the energy that it was forced to absorb. So when it goes back down to the ground state, the energy that it had absorbed comes back out in separate distinct little packets of separate wavelengths of light. So as a result, each element has a unique spectral fingerprint. In the flame test lab, we looked at just in general what color an element burned. In this particular activity, we're gonna look at elements and see what wavelengths of light are coming out of them using this thing. It's called a spectroscope. It's not a telescope, but you do look through it. Okay, I'll show you how to do it in a minute. And the purpose, of course, is to identify the unknown, in this case, element. Okay, we're not doing compounds, we're doing unknown element. And you're gonna be looking at what looks like neon signs, and that's what they are. Neon signs contain different elements that excite to different colors when they're zapped with electricity. So that's some practical application behind what you're gonna see here in a minute. So next clip is how to use the spectroscope. This, my friends, is a spectroscope. This is the end that you point at the light source and this is the end that you look through. You see here, there's a little tiny slit what you do is you put your glowing light source in view there, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna produce the spectrum on a scale inside. So I'm gonna point this at the overhead lights because it gives a pretty good result, all right? And see if we can't find that spectra in there. All right, let's get this set up. Okay, so you can see the slit, and you can see the numbers on the right-hand side. Now I point the There you go, boom, see that? I got the white light of the light showing through the slit and all of a sudden, various discrete lines show up on the right hand side. So in this lab, what you're gonna do is you're gonna line that slit up with the glowing gas in the discharge tube and you're gonna look over to the right hand side where the numbers are and you're gonna do your best to record the different colors at the different spots along that spectrum that you see for the different elements that are over they're labeled in my discharge tubes. So in your discharge tube lab, you're gonna have some unknown and unknown element. You're gonna look at the general color of it. And there's a little scope, this, the, this, the scale that you saw inside there, four, five, six, seven. And you're gonna draw with colored pencils as many of the discrete lines that you can identify, okay? I want discrete lines, not like a rainbow. I don't want to see all these to be accurate the same. If you're, if you're doing all of them, they all look the same. It means you're using this thing slightly wrong. Remember, you got to line up the slot with the light that glows. And what will happen is, let me see. Come on. There we go. Getting it. All right. Boom. Almost. You got to move it around a little bit. There we go. When you get nice, solid, discrete lines, that's you know how you got it on there. So it takes some finesse. You don't want the rainbow effect. You want the discrete lines showing up like it at. Okay. 
okay? And you're gonna record those here, where they show up. Okay, so uh, hydrogen, helium are definitely out there as known elements. And there's two others, I think it's neon and maybe chlorine, okay? So you're gonna compare the spectra, the bright line spectra of your unknown up at the top to these four and make an educated, not guess, but a well-informed guess about what element the unknown is. Here's some regions level related questions, true, false, and some multiple choice. True, false is not regions level, but just to help me understand if you understand the concept. And then this famous question, there's a bunch of different gases with different spectras and we show you a mixture of them. Can you decipher which two or three of these ABCD gases are in that mixture by matching up the spectral lines to see which ones are and are not in the mixture? And then a part C question, explain in terms of energy states and energy changes how hydrogen's bright line spectrum is produced. So that explanation over there needs to be paraphrased and changed in order to answer your particular lab questions. A good old claim evidence interpretation, purpose, identify the unknowns. Claim, I believe the unknown gas is one of the uh, examples. I know my claim is accurate because, and then an interpretation. I want you to use the explanation. This is very much like the part C question. Electrons, absorption, emission, and light, and you respond. And you can always read the background information again to help inform yourself. If this isn't making sense to you, go ahead and search up on the internet to help you get some explanations out there. Look for electron absorption and emission and spectrum and spectral fingerprints. So thanks for watching. It's a fun lab. These are actually over here and they'll be turned on ready for you to go. So you can see these two are the known chemicals or the known gases. There's two there. And then there's two over here. And you can already see there's four different colors involved. This is the unknown. It does not have a label on it. We don't know what's in this gas tube, but it's probably one of these other four. Stack of spectroscopes and a different version that I can show you how to use if you've got the time or if you cannot figure out how to use that sucker. This can get you the same results, but it doesn't show you the numbers on the little scale inside the spectroscope to where to draw your lines. But you can use it to identify the unknown, which is, of course, the purpose of this lab. Thanks for watching.